the recent developments, how much has that changed your view on Senegal as a functional democracy? Well, I mean, Matthias, if you remember, um, as far back as 2022, I had my doubts about Matissao's sincerity to hold an election that was transparent, free, and fair, particularly if he himself was not a candidate. I had also suggested at that time, and you know, and subsequently, that I wouldn't be surprised if it got out of hand and something more dramatic happened. Matisal has twisted and turned and tried to use every trick in the book to hang on to power. There is no doubt at all that what he has done. It is a constitutional vita. And I think almost all the opposition candidates have alluded to this. Makisal is playing with the country's stability and is almost inviting the military to step in. This is how dictatorships and coup d'etats begin. Both ECOWAS and African Union as usual, have released statements that are not worth the paper that they are tied on. Internally inconsistent and contradictory and basically appealing to the goodwill of the president to let things move properly. Goodwill does not prevent countries from sliding into dictatorship. Were we not to be lucky and a radical group of people overthrow Makisal, then they may join Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger in pulling out of ECOWAS. Because the general consensus is that ECOWAS has not been active in fighting for the interest of the generality of West African citizens when their leaders are misbehaving. So uh, Senegal is on a knife's edge. Anything at all can happen. And you already mentioned uh, the potential implications for the region, but maybe you can say something more about that. There's a lot of balancing between on the one hand, deepening democracy, pursuing counter-terrorism activities, whilst responding at the same time to the boom in population because the youth are looking for jobs, for education, for housing, and generally for opportunities. Senegal's position right now opens it up for all kinds of narratives to infiltrate the country, targeting the youth who are frustrated, who are angry. Senegalese youth are looking up to Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, with leaders who have stood up, whether successful or not. But at least those leaders are now preferring a narrative that says things must be done differently. 